What's broke to you? What is defined broke? You make less than double what I make. Less than double? Yes. Okay. It's not, a, it's not a shit ton. Okay. But you should be making double what I make. That being said, it's because I've held broke men down. I've been playing. In other words, you should be making double than what she makes because of a financial safety net. So in other words, you need to be making double than what she makes so that way you can support her and support her needs. Do you like understand like how just just how fucked up dating is right now with these list of demands of what women expect for men? to be you see they're trying to recreate chivalry this is why these gold diggers are around because they think they're trying to recapture some sort of uh traditional values of men showering them with gifts but at the same time not one of these women would even follow the traditional values of being a woman but they expect for the man to follow those traditional values well we all know that america's shit face as it is already the dating scene sucks and let's just face it these bitches ain't coming back to a normal planet <laughs> this shit is over with man america's completely toxic and full with nazi feminine feminism what was it what's it called it Feminazism, that's the word. These women are gone, man. You're wasting your time. By broke men, okay. and personally, it doesn't pay off, so I won't do it again. And it is what it is. It's not hard to find someone who makes twice what I make. I personally attract people who make like a whole spectrum. That being said, if you are broke and I choose to deal with you, I will belittle you. Well, shit. You got to respect her honesty. I mean, shit. If she makes twice as much as... She, if she makes twice as much as you do, she's going to belittle you as a man. Because you're supposed to be making more money than me. But these are the same type of women that will scream and shout about equal pay rights. You know, and I want, I want the highest amount of money. I want to make more money than men. We should make the same amount of money. This is discrimination. So they get, you know, a little feminist movement. They cry like little babies. Then they get equal pay. So now they got equal pay now. What are they bitching about now? Now you're talking about a man has to make two times more money. <laughs> Then you do like what the fuck, bitch? What what is this? What 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 are we applying for? An apartment? You need to make two times this amount of month and take it home, so that way you can get this rent. You know, rental places and shit they do that. What the fuck is wrong with this chick, man? Come on, man, get it together, man. It is what it is, and I reserve the right to do that. And also, if you want to cheat, cheat at your own risk, I'm apt to ghost you. And it is what it is because men who make more money than me 
they treat me with that same power dynamic, right? Like, I know that... So that's fair? You think that that's okay? No, absolutely not. Okay. But it's a way of life. Women like <laughs> financial stability. Yes. Men don't care about that because a lot of times men are always the breadwinner. You date down. 80% of the time, men are the breadwinners. Or they're at equal, equal level mm -hmm. at the same time. Men don't care about that. If, if a man meets a woman and she's struggling or she's going through something, if she has a good heart and we see the potential in her and, and she can... If she, she has a good heart or if she has a fat ass. This is what I don't really get sometimes with women, right? It's like, when we talk about like the type of woman that we want, that we want to like either settle down with or the type of chick that, you know what I'm saying? If we have a potential being our girlfriend, we ain't thinking about just ass and titties, man. I mean, we could get that from any chick. It's not about ass and titties and you throwing it at us. I mean, yeah, that's, you know, sexual chemistry. I get that. That's cool and all that. That's part of what makes the relationship good. But it's more to that, man, that a man is searching for, man. Because to be honest with you, we looking for women that's kind of like our mothers in a way. Who have that though? That type of that type of rhetoric, you know what I'm saying? But anyways, let's continue. No, if, if a she woman has fat ass or some fat titties, or if she gives the it's pussy up head. quick, you guys love her. You could tell off the bat she a free. <laughs> oh man, this chick nasty boy. She look like one of them. Definitely them little freaky ass red bones. I'm red bone. I'm yellow bone chicks. Mm. That's, they they be the craziest bitches, boy. But let me tell you something. That pool tank be fire. <laughs> hey, they they just they got that wild animal in them, though, man. But it's not always about the pussy, though. Let's just keep it real. That's not what's gonna make us want to wife you. <laughs> if you just throwing pussy at us, bitch, like that's not gonna make us want to wife you, man. Come on now, get it together. You need, you gotta bring more to the table. But probably simps, simps will fucking do anything for y'all niggas, cause they're not used to getting you type of women. So let's keep playing. That ain't Pay her shit. Bills. That ain't we'll shit. Buy her some Louis. That ain't shit. Pussy is pussy. What Drake say? Y'all love, love broke hoes. Period. Y'all love broke hoes. Pussy's love only them. pussy, and I get it when I need it. Fiber, it don't matter if you make. Broke no, it don't matter if you make five hundred thousand. I was a broke ho and I had just pussy everywhere. Niggas would love me. If you make five hundred thousand, or if you make. See, she's mad insecure. Y'all love broke hoes. So I worry she got money, but at the same time she trying to look for a nigga. Who got money? <laughs> but she ain't selling for less. Listen, man. This shit is funny as hell to me, bro. I never understand these type of retarded bitches. Like, how the hell does your ass have this requirements of a man, but he has to have double the amount that you have? In order for him to, what? So you making the choices of those type of men to be with because you have that power, that pull. <laughs> well, you make less money than him because you expect for him to make double the the amount of money that you make, and I guess that shit is crazy to me, bro. I never understand how females could be so selfish at the same time. And it's like they want to have the power and the control over everything, man. They want to dictate when and when you should pull your shit out. <laughs> they want to dictate <laughs> all this shit, bro. Like, it, it, this shit is crazy, man. It's it's just crazy. It's mind-boggling how much, how, how thirsty they are for power. And control, man. This is crazy. Make five dollars. It don't matter. 
if a nigga care for you, he gonna care for you. It is what it is. He don't. He don't care about all the extra shit. Women, and that's what's sad. There's women, women, incentive for us women, to have our shit together. Women care about this shit. Why? Because a lot of times a woman don't know what she wanna do. She needs some type of direction in her life. She no. needs her bills paid. She needs that's not make why. sure she has a roof over her no, head. No, that's not why. She looks for all that extra shit. We don't wanna accumulate shit. your debt. We don't wanna. I didn't say accumulate debt. Your I didn't say accumulate. Yeah. Uh, yeah. <laughs> It's not accumulate debt, but you know, you just want to add on to it. <laughs> Yo, you see how these women be slick, man, with the game, man. Y'all gotta really understand and listen, man, the female game, man. See, this is what it is, man. She's looking for she's looking for uh uh a roof over her head. I'm going to tell you something now, man. A lot of these women ain't got shit going on, man, for themselves. A lot of them don't. A lot of them really don't. A lot of them will want to live a certain lifestyle. And that's why they're looking for a certain type of dudes. You see them on Instagram all the time. The same chick posting up over a thousand of her same photos <laughs> one day or two <laughs> like she keep taking pictures of herself every five minutes posting that shit up ig snapchat all that all social media sites you know what i'm saying try to build up her fan base that's cool but at the same time it's kind of corny in a way because it's like man they they just Hey, zombies, man. Social media got them in their pockets. <laughs> oh, man. This little device, man. Could do such wonders. But anyways, man. Let's go ahead and continue with this story. Like that. I never said it. I'm bringing on my We phone. don't need you guys to tell us what to do. We don't. Yes, you do. No, we don't. Because a lot of times, a man, a man that has money, he's going to tell you what to do. And you're going to listen. Because why? Because you're not no, making as much never, money as him. No, never. No, never. So, okay. Okay. So, if that's the case... Why do you let a man cheat when he makes more money than you? You told me that earlier that when a man makes a million dollars, he can I, cheat. I told you I would side chick myself to a rich nigga. Why? Well, because I don't love a nigga I'm going to side chick myself to. So there has to be some incentive, right? If I don't love you and your dick is mediocre, why else would I be here? Nah, bitch, you ain't just there for the sex. Get the fuck out of here. Don't try to play that fucking game. You see how she try to fuck, she try to fuck with my nigga's head? She trying to mess with your head, man. Don't let this bitch get to your head. She playing games right now. She playing that ill game. Man, that bitch is there for a fucking paycheck. Cha-ching-ching. -ching. The fuck out of here. That bitch just want money. You can tell, man. Look at the way he's looking at her. Come on. <laughs> she play he probably thinking like, this bitch probably think I'm a damn fool. She honestly think I'm stupid. So you're only here for the money. So you're a gold digger. If I'm a side bitch, yes. So you're a gold digger. So you're a gold digger. If you have a side bitch, I want you to be as cautious of her as you are of me saying this. Like, I hope you don't ever think that you have a side bitch who's just enamored with you. You don't. Alright, you know what? I'm gonna have to give her some points on this one right here. You know, I gotta give credit where credit's due. You know what I mean? But... She's actually right on this. She's actually looking out for him, though. You you never have a female who's really into you, man. You just got someone that's around to reap your benefits. In, all the, in other words, man, these bitches are built different, bro. A lot of these females got daddy issues. They about money, man. Fellas, the truth and the honest is this. The honest truth is this. I respect this female for actually... Really speaking the truth for what it is. We're in a different genocidal period of women, bro. Women these days don't give a fuck about you. They never did. So now it's like they've wreaked the opportunities that they need. They wreak the benefits that they needed from you, man, by going through the system. So they've become smart by using the system to their advantage. Okay? America's fucked up, man. For men... It's fucked up, especially if you're a black man. It's fucked up. All right? We've seen it as it is. And this is why when I talk about how America dating scene 
is so fucked up. I hope y'all see now. All right. And it's no disrespect to women because it's not me targeting women because women are brainwashed into this system. I mean, we can go back to the Adam and Eve days when Eve was being stubborn and she didn't want to listen. When God said, do not eat that that fruit from the forbidden fruit from the tree. Okay. Or the forbidden tree. You know what I'm saying? So we can go back into prehistoric times when women never listened to the man. And consequences and repercussions had to occur due by nature. The men are always supposed to be the leaders of society. When women start to take up the roles of leadership of men, you have a collapse society. You don't. So She's there digger. for an alternative resource. So you would be a gold digger is what you're saying? I've never been a side bitch, so I can't say that I would. Okay. So Fresh right line. Possibly. Yeah. You if you could, make you millions, change, right, right, and I'm making a hundred thousand, you're going to treat me like an option, right? Like I have so much to prove to even get a ring, to even get a chance. Sometimes. Mm, a lot, unless my ass is fat and my titties are big, which they're not. I'm sweet and I'm nice and I'm petite. So I have Te a lot to prove. Them. Teach I have a lot to prove. That being said, I will treat a man who's broker than me the same way a man who's rich would treat me. I have the control. I will cut you off. You can't move around. And men don't like that. So I like I like men who make more money than I do. And it is what it is. I don't I, I support my family, I support my household. I have a child who's seven years old, happily living whatever. I there you go. She just kinda list, you know, on why she wants herself a man who makes double the amount of money that she does. She just said it. She got a seven year old kid. She don't been through some stuff with her money. She's got a child that's money. So she's looking for that financial stability. Just like they would look for in court for child support, which the government is a third party for. We all know that. Take your money away, which you men have to pay double fees, which I don't even think a lot of women are aware of this. Or maybe they just don't care. So here's the thing. <laughs> wow. Makes you kind of think like, what's the point of even dating and getting married or even having kids, man, in this country? America's not built like that, man. America's built for you to just build and make money so you can retire in a different country, man. I'm just being real, man. This shit crazy, man. If this is what men have to deal with, this is what men are looking forward to, there's going to be a lot of lonely ass women. Because women, you've you've done this to yourselves, man. And it is, fellas, this is just getting, 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 getting worse. Ain't even we ain't even halfway there yet. We ain't even in the third, fourth quarter yet. We in that. We in the second quarter. <laughs> we even get to the third or fourth quarter. You wait 10, 20 years from now. And you gonna see a new type of bitches. These bitches gonna be on some robotic shit. Yo, I'm telling you, shit ain't looking good. Cause if it ends up being like this, this could be very well indeed the end of human species. It's caused by us. No reproductions. Just think of it. If men just decide to just stop with women. I mean, that's not going to change them. Maybe it will. Maybe it won't. I don't know. But if women are just too programmed, they can't snap out of it. I absolutely will not support somebody else. I don't even want you to make what I make because if you fall into a bad, hard situation, I have to support you. She only looking out for herself because she a gold digger. You have to you make. Think that. Mm, I know that you have to make double, if That's not triple, if not quadruple. That's what you've been through. I never will ever support another man as long as I live. Me personally, um, I don't. I don't require a woman to, you know, bring in a certain amount of income. That's just me personally because at the end of the day, 
I'm already going to have a roof over my head. I'm taking trips with my boys. We're doing X, Y, Z. We're going to eat good. We're right. doing this and that. So anything that you would bring in would just be an addition to what I already have. Women, women look for a man to take them to the next level. Most women. Most no, women. the real question. I mean, he's right in what he's saying on that one. You know what I'm saying? Women are just an addition to us. That we we want, you know. But we don't need them. I mean, we want them, but we don't need them. The difference is, women need us. Women need us. They may not want to admit it, <laughs> but they need us. Everything they need to be taught from us. Rather, you know, they could disagree with it. That's totally cool, but you know, it's all about science. <laughs> Let's keep playing. Most the real women. question is why, as women, are we working so hard and grinding so hard when men don't care? We could slack off, we could be bums, and y'all would still wipe us at the same rate that you wipe us when we're grinding our asses off. She just contradicting herself right there. She says, How comes y'all dudes rate the bum bitches in her, in her words? <laughs> in, other, in her words, that's not on her level when she's got more money. But y'all treat them all the same. Because she's got more money. She's expected to be treated differently. From a higher class man. Well higher class men treat any woman the same way. As long as they're beautiful. And they're respectful. They're going to get treated the same way. We don't judge women by. Uh, their looks. I mean not their looks. But we don't judge them based off their money. See women do all that shit. They judge us based on our money. See, men, we generally love things, okay? Because we treat both these women the same. We'll show the same love if you got money or even if you didn't have money. That's something that a lot of y'all women could learn from. You feel me? I also got to add into that. I hope y'all know that this chick is only targeting like certain type of dudes that fit her standards the ones that fit her standards ain't really checking for her so this is why she's irated because the ones the dudes that she want are not checking for her they checking for other chicks that's why she's insecure about herself just think about it she told about the girls with the big boobs the fake ass y'all don't care the question so the is, reason is the, the reason the question why is, we care the question is why do y'all care so much no, we care if it, for if our it's about, own self worth. If it's, if we it's, care if for it's our own love, self worth, and that's why I'm not carrying if it's no love, broke ass nigga. Because I've worked too hard. It ain't no about. It I've ain't worked too hard. So it's okay. So it's okay for a man to date a broke bitch, but but it's not okay for a no, woman to date a broke nigga. Personally, if you're dating that's a bitch who's broken than me, I think you're a joke. Oh wow, what a walking contradiction. <laughs> so she says. Personally, if you're dating a bitch who's broken than me, then you need help. But at the same time, she's looking for a man that needs to make more money than her. Two times more money than her. But he's poorer than he's not I mean he's richer than you. So what does it matter? If he's two to three times richer than you both of you bitches are bum bitches to him because you don't you don't what what do you have to offer that the other chick who doesn't make as much money as you can do i mean y'all both got head y'all both got pussy y'all both will be pretty the only difference is is one is poor and one is one is rich shit what's the fucking big difference <laughs> i just want to know Oh, but that's right, you know. It's woman's self-worth. Because I work too hard. I work too hard. <laughs> oh, God. But that's 
your personal decision. But love is love, right? No. So why does love? So I would never, but love, I'm not love shouldn't have a monetary value sorry, attached God. to it. Well, it does. It for does. For me, it does. And for you guys, it doesn't, because you guys have societal power. You have monetary power. You have all these men don't have privileges that, that allow you to power. choose who you want. It ain't we can't Especially choose black, who we want. Black men do we not have that. We're just looking for a female who's gonna she you know, give us love, give eye. us support. Some not loyalty, true. you know what I'm saying? That's what we look for. We don't look if, for okay, money. Okay, so no, we we'll look for you money because we have that. But we you look we take for care of other ourselves. stuff. You look for a pretty girl. You look for a girl with a big butt. You look for a girl with big. No, boobs. you do. They you don't do. mean shit because do. a lot of these women that have a big butt and that's a, that's pretty can't even hold a basic conversation. Facts, facts. How many times you meet fellas, and we, we, see women don't understand, man. They think it's so easy for us. They think that we can get any bitch that we want. It's not easy. Because y'all don't make shit easy. It's not easy at all. And if you see the trash that we got to choose from. To potentially date. And lead to marriage. Come on man. It's not like that. Trust me. <laughs> I wish it was easy for us. But it's not. Women think it's easy for us. We think it is easy for women. Which it is. They got a support system. But women can make it a lot easy if they're willing to comply. If they're willing to submit. That's why we say submit. We're not talking about get on your knees and on the no. We're talking about give us the trust. See what it is is women don't trust men. In every relationship we're in. Women don't trust men. This is why they're insecure. I, I'm i dealing with one too. This is just women nature. It's in their nature to not trust men. This is why they don't let men lead the interaction. Women, you have to let men be the leaders that they are. So they can be the protectors for you. Stop with this nonsense and all this bullshit with these high standards that you're looking for in a man. If you let it go to the side, eventually you'll find what you're looking for. Half of you men don't need that. This is what it is. You guys don't need that. Yes, we do. Some of you do, some of you we have to. We have to deal with you day in and day out. So you don't think we pay attention to stuff like that? I don't think you care enough to make that deciding factor. Yes, after. we do. You do. Just like every conversation we've had tonight, you care about what applies lot, to you. you need to Notice how she says, you do. You only care what applies to you. No, he doesn't. You see, she only thinks this way because she, cause the man is not giving in under her pussy spell. Uh, uh, you know? He's not hypnotized by that shit. Listen, man. She just wants somebody to kiss her ass and say, yes, you're absolutely right. But he ain't doing that shit. So that's why she's trying to, you know, play the whole reverse psychology bullshit game and say, you only care what applies to you, which is a lie. He's speaking on what applies for the better good for the relationship you see this is why i say men are the ones who really love they're the ones who really love women don't women don't know how to love they think they do but they don't just think of it i'll make a perfect example when women get married when women about to get married they get excited right See, they get excited about the wedding day, not the actual long grinding commitment of the marriage. See, they only look at the benefits of what makes them feel better at that current moment. But they're not looking at it from a logical standpoint, the long term investment. This is where the man comes in. This is where the man starts planning and speaking with logic. See, the thing with a lot of these type of women is they want men to be perfect. They want to get a man exactly 
when he's at his peak or at his perfection that you should take me with open arms you know a lot of these men who have multi-millions of dollars or a network of security it took them some time it took them many many years for them to get to where they need to be even it was long nights being at home not going out focusing on the bigger picture while everybody's out partying and getting drunk smoking weed and shit doing cocaine guess what that nerd guy was at home and he was studying, hitting those books. And he started getting on the computer and planning. So, he made himself a multi-millionaire. Now all of a sudden, these type of women want him. That's the whole rhetoric. A lot of from men, objective perspective. to a certain extent, a lot of men care if a woman can hold a basic conversation because you have a lot of women out here who are fine as hell, nice bodies, and got it paid for by other men and we're dating you, and you can't even hold simple shit. You don't know cr what credit is. You don't know how credit works. Like, it's just basic shit that a lot of women just don't understand because they've been taken care of their whole life. So mm. a man doesn't want to be the rest of his life with a woman that doesn't know anything. I personally Facts. feel that a woman's role is to elevate the situation that she's in, whether you are it's to help, man, you are to help whatever, elevate. whatever, whatever. That being said, as a man, you should already be at a position that I should want to grow. I should want to help you. And what are you doing? doing this? She's right about that, though, because I, I, I got to give her a little bit of uh, points on that, that most men should be in a, in a position already where a woman should be there to help you. Because that's what she said. And that is support. So, yeah, she's right on that. You know? He's saying, what do you bring to the table? You know? But she's bringing that mutual support. And while you're out doing what you have to do by working, she will be home to take care of the chores in the house. But unfortunately, the government also has a part to play in both men and women's roles in traditional standards. And this is why I say it's neither the woman's fault or the man's fault blame your governments they've failed us <laughs> they failed us once the government started getting their themselves involved into black people's homes and relationships that's when shit just fell apart we were good on our own we didn't need these people it's time though what are you doing this while, while I'm already up here, what are you doing in this Me, time? personally, I don't need to address that. No, no, like you said, we're not talking about personally. You're just exactly, talking about exactly. So objectively, as a woman, you shouldn't be broke. Okay. And if you are broke, you could still get a man because niggas are weak and they like bitches. At oh, the end of the day, wow. as a woman, you should never date down. Never. You should never date down. Ever. Because you could be whack, you could be broke, you could be ugly, you could be whatever. You could always get a rich nigga. It is what it is. So in other words... Never date down. He could be whack. He could be ugly. But at the end of the day, you can always have you a rich nigga. So in other words, if he ugly and you with him because he got money, that's straight. But if he ends up cheating on you, it's all good because at least you got something out of it. These are some vain ass women, man. Y'all fellas need to be, man, boy, I'll tell you. When I see these rappers with these type of chicks these days, <laughs> I'll be like, good God, man. Boy, I'll tell you, I feel sorry for them niggas. <laughs> mm -mm -mm. What a shame. These women out here, boy, they like vultures. Man, be careful out there take your time it's the only monetary value is the only position on earth where men have a disadvantage no it monetary is. value is only what women look at that period. and maybe dick size period. you guys have male privilege you guys have what? misogynistic you can privilege. have a man that makes so <laughs> a monetary value is based on the size of a man's penis that's basically what she's saying. He says, no, that's based off a woman's perspective. 
and visual. And that's absolutely 100% positively correct. Or unless you gay. <laughs> but no man's gonna think like that. Come on, man. Get it together. $250,000 or whatever. And if it's a woman who's never seen that type of money before, you can have a small dick and a woman still is gonna wanna be with you because she's comfortable and in an environment. Whose fault is it? If but, you wife her, but it, right? Like we've but a man is about, not going to do that. Like we've a talked about, do men that. are the ones who get down on one knee. So if you wife a bitch who's a gold digger and she likes you with your small dick and it's your rare. large bank roll, a man is not a, a, a if real you get man. Down on one knee, that's a, not her fault. That's yours. A real man is going to evaluate all that stuff. We take into account everything before we get down on one knee. We Eight out of ten men are not real men. Two out of ten men are what? real men. Real men. So the majority. Define men, a real man since you're a woman. Exactly. A real man is a man who cares what a woman has acquired from her own net worth, from no. her own intellect. Wrong. A woman who can I don't give a damn her about intellect. Wrong. No. What do you think a real man is? And if you describe you're yourself, you're talking about a woman. You're die. talking about a woman. You just said everything <laughs> a woman. No, a I'm talking about man. what a real man wants in a woman. What a real man wants in a woman basically is just loyalty and love. That's yes. at the end of the day. That's what it comes down to. Okay, and, and how so, easy support. is it to fake that? What? It's not easy to fake it's that. It's very easy. We don't see through all that bullshit. No, you're not. You're not. Historically, you're not. Huh? No, you're not. Oh. Yes, we are because no, there are going to be things that happen where we see how you react. If you, yeah, after you niggas put a ring on, you no. think we're stupid enough? She, she might be right with this one. Now she's exposing women. For who they are. They'll do this shit just to get a ring on your finger, man. Yo, listen to this chick. I think this chick deep down inside is trying to protect this guy. Most women will bait men to getting pregnant just to get some money. After you put a ring on the finger, it's over. <laughs> she might be right with that one, man. I give it up to that one on, on, on that way of thinking, so... To play, yes. to play that role until yes. you like us? No. Marry yes. me first. Then you'll see how dumb I am. Then you'll see how whack I am. Men will only ask for what they can do. Women will ask for astronomical shit and they still over here. But you making, guys created making $10 this patriarchal view. I'm not. We, we have been raised in a this society and, been, and we have been breaking down societal norms that say we are what our man is worth, right? And the last quantifying factor is your monetary value. The monetary mm -hmm. value of the man that you marry. So I'm sorry, that's the last thing to go out of style, but you guys created this system and that's how we're gonna play it. You you make more Something's money than us. Her. You make wrong with her. we make seventy five cents to every dollar that you make. So if I want my husband to make more money, that's fine. Wait, and that and that that's okay for you to want that, but you can't necessarily demand that what I want, I demand. A man never requires a woman to make a certain amount of money. It's what did I say in my last videos? A man never requires a woman to make a certain amount of money. But a woman always requires those demands. See, we don't care about how much money you make. That's not relevant to us. We don't look for those core values. That's why I say Men are true lovers of things. When a woman, when a man loves, they love. Women don't have that possession, that power. See, you got to understand, a woman came from us, man. A woman is part of us. That's why they call him wool man. They don't have the same type of intellect and logic way of thinking as we do. They're emotional creatures. This is who they are. So they don't have the mind capacity as a man does. Now, some women may get upset. They may get pissed off on here. And that's fine. But the truth of the matter is men are logically, scientifically smarter, stronger, and more gifted. And it's always going to be that way. People just need to learn to accept certain roles in society. Just like us, we would never know how to be emotionally invested into women. We can understand 
from an emotional standpoint, we could probably learn that and get better at that. And that's what makes us fathers. Because we're like that with our children. But see, a woman can't do that and take the roles of a man. A man can easily take the roles of a woman because they came from us. It's easy for us to do that. As far as the nurturing side goes. I'm not trying to take any other parts of a woman. <laughs> oh, shit. But hey, there's some people out there that are kind of crazy. So Always good, and it's always in addition. And you're um, definitely, if a man is making money and a woman is making just as much money as him, you're definitely going to live comfortable, you know, saying, get, get what you want to get, live a lavish life, things like that. But women need a man with money, and that's what they look for when they're dating. At the end of the day, it's not fair, but it just is what it is. Men don't need to require anything because they have the privilege of being able to make a dollar for every dollar that they have earned. Women are at a disadvantage, so naturally we are going to seek a monetary value in any situation we're in. I think that it's within our right to take advantage of that if we need. See, here's the whole deal with this whole story. See, she judges men based off what type of men could do certain things for her see this is how i truly feel i think that she's upset because those men who have money also have the choosing of which women they want to be with and because she's not getting choose by the guys who are making money she belittles those women and say, well, I make more money than her. You should be choosing me. But see, this is where you're wrong, women. We don't choose women based off financial attributes or how much money they got. We choose women based off how good looking they are. If they're hot, it doesn't take that much for you women to be beautiful. Because there's a lot of women that are beautiful that don't even have to rock makeup on. But see, beauty comes with a price. And we're starting to see that now. So, now these are the after effects. Most men just ain't dealing with y'all no more. Because everything is a bill, a cost. And quite frankly, we just think you ain't worth it. And this is the way it is, folks. Women are going to take the monetary advantage decision, as she would say, on capitalizing on men. You don't have to. But women choose to. In this country, they do. So when you say that men have so much say so, it's a lie. Because we don't. They do. They know they do. It's always been a psychological mind war within us and them. They've been corrupted. It's sad. But it's true that these women are going to forever be this way. And a lot of them, more and more each day, are turning into these type of women. Nothing but opportunist, gold-seeking, and destruction of dreams. I'm your host, Andrew 26101 Show. Don't forget to follow me on Instagram. Follow me on Facebook. Also on the Patreon. Patreon members, I haven't forgot about y'all. I'm still coming through, man. I support you guys. Thank you all for supporting me. And I will give back. <laughs>